Tomorrow morning, a critical test for SpaceX and the future of space. The company's Crew Dragon will demonstrate its ability to separate from the Falcon 9 rocket and carry astronauts to safety. News 6's James Barbero details this abort mission. Ignition, liftoff. Ten months after SpaceX's Crew Dragon successfully went to the International Space Station and returned, Pad 39A has another Falcon 9 ready for launch. The final hurdle before missions with astronauts, Dragon must prove its capability in an emergency to fly away from the rocket and safely splash down in the ocean. SpaceX says the in-flight abort test is all about protecting astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley and collecting data. The idea is, is that you've got the crew in the capsule, but something's gone wrong with the rocket, and you want to be able to get them away um, quickly. At no earlier than 8 tomorrow morning, Dragon will separate from Falcon 9 one minute and 24 seconds after launch, firing its abort engines tested by SpaceX for years, including when Dragon blew up during a test last April. SpaceX and NASA say since then, they've done everything they can to have the best chance disaster doesn't happen with the astronauts inside. We've learned a ton out of this anomaly investigation. And as the team was learning new data, be able to roll this into upgrades to the design. NASA's other commercial crew partner, Boeing, had its own mishap in a flight last month that did not reach the space station. We saw this week how Starliner still looks to be in great shape now that Boeing's astronaut spaceship is back home. Again, tomorrow's launch window opens at 8 in the morning. You can join our coverage starting on News 6 at 6 o'clock. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. All right, James, thank you. And you can read about the importance, astronauts, and a timeline of what to expect to see from this test on clickorlando.com. Just look for the story under the Space tab.